I want to talk about the stump cutting project that just yes, took sir, you would come up to this chair, please. All and right. <coughs> Yes, my name is Donald Piper, and, and I run a fishing farm in, in this area. Uh, it's mostly on this lake. And, and I want to talk and discuss the uh, stump cutting project that took place over the last six, eight weeks. I know uh, it, it come to light, I guess, early December that this was happening, and uh, we tried to get involved and try to slow it down to see, you know, to prevent some damage. Uh, from reading, from reading the minutes of the meeting. Uh, December 12th by the advisory, Lake Conroe Advisory Board, it was it was discussed and agreed that uh, <coughs> that the stump cutting would be done. It'd be uh, the little makers, the ones that are at the pool or not at the pool, but the ones that are starting to show due to the lake drawdown, and it was discussed on which stumps would be cut. And uh, Mark Webb, District Three biologist over this lake, uh, said that there'd be some minimal damage, but they could cut some stumps. And it was discussed how it was going to be determined which stones would, would be cut. And uh, it was agreed at that meeting that uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife will go out there and mark them which stones were allowed to be cut. Uh, my understanding is that never happened, that uh, the stump cutter actually went on out there and put the instructions of the Ben Richardson, I believe, but uh, that's speculation. But they went out there and cut stumps from the north end all the way down into a lot of a lot of branch. I was also told by Mark Webb that they weren't supposed to cut any stumps that show after pool, that they showed during when the lake is at pool one. And from from the National Forest all the way down to the main lake, every one of those stumps had been cut. And uh, it you know, without no vegetation in the lake and stuff, this these stumps were one of the last refuge for some of these fish and bait fish. I know reading, reading the last Lake Conroe survey done by Texas Park and Wildlife, the sunfish alone it dropped from like 350 per acre down to less than 40 per acre. It was just the fish are being, just had no place to hide and protect themselves and grow. And the fishing on the lake has dropped and dropped and dropped. I know this, that y'all's responsibility is water sale, it's selling water mostly, but but it is a fishery that, that has a lot of people to fish on. Uh, also, uh, someone took it upon themselves to go into Live Branch, right up here, and cut upwards or near 200 stumps at water level. And this past week, when it was surveyed by one of our members, they're literally, I'm sorry, they're literally at water level now, which which is it's dangerous. Before they were, uh, you know, six feet out of the ground, out of the water. And when the, when the lakes at pool, there's still 50 or so, there are 30, or 30 to 50 that are shown. And these are prime fishing spots that have that just been destroyed by uh, lack of management of the lake, it seems like. Uh, I, I don't know what, what should, I don't know what will be done, but what I'd like to see done is, is some restitution and whoever cut all these extra stumps be, be uh, fine and use that money to help put back some habitat in the lake. Um, I do know our, our members, some of our members are going to go out and do some more surveying and see if there's any other stumps that weren't supposed to be cut, got cut, and we'd like to see some restitution for that, that as well, and use that money to put, help put habitat back in the lake. And uh, I'd like to yield my, uh, the rest of my time to Lori. My name is Lori Robinson. I'm also part of um, uh, Donald Piper's. We do have a uh, Fishing Across Texas as a forum. We are 800-something members strong. Uh, we fish all across the state of Texas, but Lake Conroe is one of our predominant spots that we fish. Most of our members live around this area. When the stump cutting project came to light in December, we had already been contacted and working with when the lake dropped down starting in October with uh, SJRA and Mr. Kellum. There are numerous things that came to light, and as we continued on the process of trying to get them to pay attention to us, we had face-to-face -face meetings with Mr. Kellum, Mr. Webb, and numerous other people. Um, we were invited to the Lake Conroe Advisory <coughs> Board, but as this process went on, these stumps were being cut. They were cut prior to it being solidified. 
We are asking for an independent investigation review from the San Jacinto River Authority Board into the Lake Conroe Division of this project. We feel like it was an egregious action upon the lake without the proper uh, impact studies done, without the shoreline studies done. We've asked for um, maps, we've asked for the plan, and none of that has been turned over, nor has there anything been published. What has been published that we were going off of is the meeting minutes from the LCA, the survey from the Texas Parks and Wildlife, and all of this seems to have accumulated into a cluster of what has happened on this lake for stump cutting in the guise of safety. You have a very large public asking for this to be investigated, asking why this was done to the lake and why the water stratification wasn't looked at and what was the purpose actually under the guise of voter safety. Uh, we'd like to see the reports on what voter safety did occur. Uh, what, what is the damage since the lake dropped down? How many people have been hurt on this lake under the guise of why this was done? We were not opposed to the safety of cutting Widowmaker stumps, especially on the larger portion of the two-thirds of the main body of this lake where most people do pleasure boat and play. Lake Conroe is a ground for many, many people. And the fishery and the small boaters usually stay north of the one-third of the main body of this lake. And that third has been decimated. Our surveys have gone out, independent surveys have gone out. Our fisheries with side imaging sonar also. We are concerned that they cut stumps into the National Forest where we have told that there's a line in the sand that they were not supposed to cross. And I myself has, 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 uh, has been very distressed and distraught trying to follow this and make sure that the public was heard. And we were not heard, frankly. We were not heard. And I am asking for an independent investigation from this board to look into the Lake Conroe Division of this project. We want answers. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I may. Yes, yes sir. My yes. I'm Mark Webb with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, Inland Fisheries, and I'm the uh, District Fisheries Biologist in this area. Uh, basically, just to give you kind of a synopsis of this project, first of all, we do greatly appreciate the fishing across Texas folks, as well as a number of other folks that are very concerned about the habitat and the well-being of this reservoir. This project, the, the uh, boater safety stump cutting project, if you will, uh, the Widowmaker project, as, as it were, this is a project that uh, the Richardson's Lake Conroe Association together brought to our attention and worked with Texas Parks and Wildlife and San Jacinto River Authority on, basically from uh, a line just north of the 1097 bridge down to the bottom of the reservoir, but out in open water is where these open water stumps were cut, uh, generally anywhere from four to eight feet below the surface for the purpose of boating safety. Uh, there were just under, to the best of our reckoning, just under 400 stumps total cut. Uh, the marking of the stumps, some of these, of course, were subsurface, some right at the surface. The way that we mark these, if you will, is Ben Richardson put together a uh, track with pictures of the stumps, and that's how Parks and Wildlife worked with the Richardsons to track what stumps were cut. Uh, to the best of our knowledge and ability, we think that the, the project was well done. The only issue was the contractor for Mr. Richardson did get above that northern boundary. I do not believe he was in the National Forest, but he did get above the agreed on boundary to the extent of, we believe, 12 stumps, three large ones that stand above the surface and nine smaller ones. Uh, and that was just an oversight. Uh, it, it, it's unfortunate, but it happened. Otherwise, it was a, a good project, and the purpose of that was boating safety. The other issue brought up as far as the cutting of stumps at the surface that had nothing to do with the Richardson LCA project down in the lower end of the lake. This is a, a huge issue, certainly. There is a major loss of woody habitat, very valuable habitat, and uh, parks and wildlife in every way possible will work with San Jacinto River Authority to ascertain who did this and uh, in any way that 
SGRA desires will work with you to try to determine potential restitution value, et cetera. Uh, I have a question. I, yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Robinson had referred to 200 stumps. Is that in the Black Branch area that, you're, that she was referring to? Uh, speci just those specific 200s or all the stumps overall from all of the lake? Well, I understand 400 were authorized. And, That's correct. And, and, and if I understand correctly, you're saying up to 200 unauthorized cuttings were made. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. It could be 200. It could be more. We haven't made a complete count. We're actually looking with SGRA at the acreage of that area that was cut, and we're looking into other areas of the reservoir to make sure that this hasn't taken place in other areas that we simply haven't found yet. But yes, sir, I believe at a minimum 200 stumps, and they're, they're cut at an angle as though with a chainsaw from a boat right at the surface, and besides the loss of habitat, they do present a boating hazard. So yes, sir, it Obviously, it is an issue. French right. Porters posted on their Facebook page on December 14th that, quote, we had one of our residents go out and cut the stumps in our cove. And those would be the ones we're talking about now. Yes, sir. All right. Well, appreciate all the input, and I assure you that staff will uh, take what you've said and uh, certainly pursue anything that was unauthorized. And, find out if there's uh, a way that we can uh, get proper responsibility for this. So, I, I do have one more point of clarification. Uh, Mr. Webb just stated that the stumps were cut Would you give to us your name? Mark Bolin. Uh, he just stated that the stumps were cut to just north of the 1097 bridge with the exception of, what did you say, about 12. 9, 12? 12. Yes, sir, 12. No. The stumps have been cleared from the main body of the lake north of 1097 all the way to the point by Stowaway Marina. All stumps have been cleared out there. There were in excess of 50, probably closer to 100 trees north of 1097 on up to that point. Yeah, Cape Malibu as well. Up to Cape Malibu. That's correct. There were not 12 stumps in that area. There were we, probably we, closer we, to 100. We definitely need to get staff to validate and verify what it is. What it, we appreciate you guys bringing this in because uh, we're in agreement. If, if someone did something unauthorized, then there needs to be proper uh, action taken. And we, we've already started looking into it with Mark and, uh, and his staff and Amy Morton. So and we're going to be looking at it very closely. And we'll have staff, we'll, we'll make this an agenda item. And do we get any type of response back? I mean, do we do we just come? No, I mean, do we just? Are we expecting to hear back? As it will be a, a, an agenda item, which leaves it open for discussion uh, by the board at the next board meeting. Uh, by rule, the board is not allowed to engage in discussion. Right. And in the next board meeting is scheduled for. Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is, is anyone else have any input on this issue? Anybody else have any input? Uh, no other input on the issue. Okay. Uh, any other item for public comment? Uh, 